hello my friends happy wednesday it's a super sunny day here and i'm so excited for this video because it's something that i've been thinking for a long time and now is the time to make to make a gut health video because basically as you probably know i've been through antibiotics for the last few months like i had to take four different antibiotics over the course of like two months so basically now I'm actively working on repairing my gut health because it's not in a good place, I know it can be better and I'm really tackling the issue at the root and like really doing all the things that I can do and I think also I'm learning so many things and I want to share them with you because I think it can benefit everyone. So I'm basically gonna explain the basic of what I'm doing um, but for me to repair my gut, there are three big, like, big, big thing, like, I don't know how to say that, but big chapters that I'm focusing on to repair because it's not only focusing on one thing, like the gut is a bit complicated, so there's many things you can do, but for me, the first step is to repair because basically the antibiotics can, like, it kills all the bacteria, the good, the bad, but it can also have more impact afterwards because the food that you're gonna eat is not gonna be <clears throat> super well digested and then the mucuses barrier can be like impacted so it also needs to be repaired so the first step is repair and the second step they're all in parallel but the second step is to kill off the bad bugs that can stay because also in, after antibiotics then the bacteria can regrow and there can be an imbalance of bacteria it's basically like for example when you have like candida after that I, honestly i think i have that as well so to kill off the bad bacteria and the third step is to nourish with the proper um, things that are gonna help your gut to heal so that's the three main chapters and I'm gonna explain what I do for each one. The first step is to like repair and I think I, as you saw last night I prepared my little clay water so it's basically you put a teaspoon of clay in water and you have to mix it with like a wooden spoon not a metallic one because otherwise it's not working with the clay and put mineral water not water from the tap overnight and then in the morning you just drink the water not the clay and basically it helps your mucus, mucuses, I don't really know how to say that, but um, basically your gut lining to repair itself, which is so helpful and it also gives so many nutrients to your gut, so really a good thing, I'm gonna do it for three weeks, so that's the big first step, then I'm gonna show you after, but I have some supplements that I take, but the main one is a prebiotic, so a one that is targeting those issues in particular. For the nourishment parts, as you saw this morning, and that's something that I'm not always sure, but I always have, or I always try to have some food before my caffeine beverage, and it's matcha, but matcha contains caffeine as well, so I'm always trying to have my eggs before, I showed it this morning, but honestly it's not like the most exciting thing, so that's why I don't always show it. And then I have my smoothie with all all the things in there. I all, I love smoothies because it's so easy to pack them with like the powders, the stuff that you want to put in there and it's super nutrient dense. But something is super important with the gut, it's to really provide it with the nutrients and minerals and something that can sometimes be overlooked but minerals are so important for our cell function and when you think about it we're made out of cells so healthy cells make healthy organs which make healthy organ systems etc but focusing on the cells and the nourishment to the cells is super super important so there's also a few things that i've incorporated in my diet and i'm going to show it today um, to focus on the minerals and to kill off the bad bacteria, I'm going to show it later, but it's basically making a garlic shot, uh, which kills everything, basically. So, garlic ginger shot. So, I'm going to show it to you later, but yeah, that's basically what I'm doing, and I thought it would be interesting to show it to you over, like, a daily vlog, because the also the idea is not to overcomplicate it, and I've 
<laughs> I have a tendency to overcomplicate things, but with those things, it's kind of easy steps to incorporate. So that's what I really like, and I don't find it overwhelming. I'm not stressing about it because stress is really bad. So <laughs> I'm not stressing about it, and also the main thing is always focusing on balance. So if there are days that I'm not gonna do all those things, it doesn't really matter, and. It's super important to focus on your balance more than anything like prioritizing going out and spending time with your friends and yeah even if you drink alcohol if you like eat all the sugar if you eat like not healthy for a few days like it's honestly it's not gonna make any difference into your gut to you just go back into your daily lifestyle habits afterwards and everything is fine so also it's gonna be a bit of a balanced day in the life because I'm working from home so it's easy to prepare everything at home but then tonight I'm going out so it's a good way to show you that yeah you can do both <laughs> you can always do both you can always do the thing that makes you feel good and to be happy in the long run so that's it I'm gonna go prepare my smoothie now and I'm gonna show you what I put in there so for the things that I add in my smoothie, I have my spirulina and basically it's something very rich in vitamin B and iron, like not iron, maybe it's, yeah, I think it's iron, <laughs> but yeah, iron and also copper, so really rich in that and it has some protein as well, so really good thing to add, I usually add a teaspoon. Then I have my source of protein because I'm focusing to have a uh, hundred grams of protein every day, so adding this in my smoothie ups it to like 30 gram and I'm trying to have 30 gram at every meal so that's perfect and then something that I'm starting to incorporate is this Arma Colostrum I know it's kind of vi getting viral at the moment but it really protects, regenerates, strengthens your immune system and it has so many nutrients in there like it's kind of crazy so yeah I'm trying to incorporate that I'm starting with one scoop because I want this little box to last for a very, very long time. So I'm doing one scoop of that every day and it has to be in something cold. So that's what I'm doing. And for my supplement, I don't have like many. I just have this probiotic and it's honestly supposed to really target gut issues and like intestinal protection. So I've just started. So I don't have a feedback yet, but I'm taking that with a meal because it can be taken with a meal and then I have my zinc because I'm always taking a zinc and for my smoothie I have a base of um, a green like for example zucchini and banana so I'm gonna mix all that together and have my smoothie Okay, so I have my very green smoothie and I'm gonna add some bee pollen, which is really good. Uh, really, like it has a lot of vitamin B as well, like a lot of nutrients and supports immunity. And I'm also gonna add some cacao nibs, which is really rich in magnesium. So yeah, very nutrient rich breakfast. It's gonna keep me full because it has protein, fiber, so Perfect way to start my day. again to focus on minerals is that I mix some coconut water so I'm gonna show you but I don't do that much of the coconut water maybe like a third of the glass or something something like that yeah perfect and then I do a splash of aloe juice and aloe juice is so good for digestion and again for like your intestinal lining so I do like a splash of that and then 
I just fill the glass with a bit more water. So yeah, and I drink that and it's such a great way to stay hydrated and honestly I love coconut water, it tastes so good and also coconut water has a lot of potassium and potassium is not the easiest thing to get from your diet so such a great way to implement more coconut water and now I'm gonna pick up some groceries, especially some celery because I wanna make some celery later and my garlic shot and celery again is a great source of potassium um, so yeah just a great way to get your minerals in snack I mixed some skier yogurt so there's a lot of protein there's actually like 30 grams of protein in that bowl with some cherries bananas um, and that's it and I, I just put some cacao nibs and bee pollen on top at the same time <music> So I just had my little celery juice which is the best, honestly I really love juicing celery and now I'm gonna make the ginger um, garlic shot I was talking about and usually what I do is I take a big piece of ginger like that and one clove of garlic and this is like a massive clove so I already know it's gonna be really strong and sometimes I add a bit of lemon juice in the end so I'm gonna show you but it's pretty easy. So this is all the ginger and garlic I have and then I'm gonna juice it. It is strong but it's good, it's spicy. I honestly I really like it. Yeah, that's the last step of my <laughs> routine to heal my gut. And um I'm gonna go to dinner afterwards. So yeah, it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna show you what I have. It's gonna be burgers. So I'm very excited and it has been a really lovely day. I hope it provided you with some info and yeah, I'll share with you the rest of the evening. back from burgers it was so nice i did my little skincare and i'm ready to unwind with my little lemon water but i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helps you if you have same trouble with your with your digestion or if you're just working to better your digestion but yeah let me know if you enjoyed and i'll talk to you in the next video Bye bye.